Hi everyone, my name is Amir Reza Mahboud and I'm a postdoc fellow at the Medical University of Vienna. It's my great pleasure to present our work in the Artificial Intelligence for Healthcare Application International Workshop at ICPR. This work was a collaborative project between Medical University of Vienna, Lafro University and Tissue Gnostics. The title of our study is Pollen Gray Microscopic Image Classification Using an Ensemble of Fine-Tuned Deep Convolutional Neural Networks. Classification of pollen grain microscopic images has multiple applications in medicine and biology. For instance, it can be used for anticipating the onset of pollen-related allergy symptoms. While pollen grain image classification can be performed manually by experts, manual categorization is a very time-consuming and rather subjective method. Thus, using automatic pollen grain image classification methods can alleviate those issues. In this work, we developed a fully automatic computer-based approach by fusing multiple fine-tuned convolutional neural networks, or CNN, that were trained at different image sizes. We used the ICPR 2020 Pollen Grain Classification Challenge dataset in this study, which is one of the biggest publicly available datasets for this task. This dataset contains around 11,000 training images as well as around 2,000 test images. The images in this dataset had a fixed image size of 84 by 84 pixels and contained images in four different classes, namely normal pollen images, anomalous pollen images, almost images, and non-pollen images, as you can see some examples in this slide. In our proposed method, first we apply two pre-processing steps. We subtract the mean RGB intensity values of the ImageNet dataset from all images. Then we resize all images to a fixed size of 260 by 260 pixels. For fine tuning, we use four pre trained CNNs from the Efficient Net family networks and Serra's Next family networks. We use Efficient Net B0, Efficient Net B1, Efficient Net B2, and Serra's Next 50 models. To fine tune pre trained CNNs, First, we removed fully connected layers of the pre-trained models and replaced them with two blocks of batch normalization, dropout, and new fully connected layers. We also added a global average pooling layer to the network to deal with dimensionality mismatch for various image sizes. To fine-tune the networks, we used three image sizes ranging from 224 to 260 pixels, which were cropped from the resized images. We use Adam Optimizer weighted focal loss to deal with the imbalance dataset and various augmentation techniques to fine tune the models. We also apply 25 fold test time augmentation in the inference phase to have more robust results. After fine tuning each of the networks, we developed a multi scale, multi CNN ensemble approach to fuse the results. For fusion, for each of the architectures, First, we take the average over the classification probability vectors from the networks that were trained at different image sizes, and then we fuse the results of different network architectures as can be seen in this below chart. For reporting the classification results, we use accuracy, balance accuracy, and weighted F1 score as the evaluation indexes. To report the results based on the training data, we use 5 fold cross-validation. We also report the results for the test data based on our final fusion strategy. The results in this slide compare the classification performance when different image sizes were used to train the networks. As the results in this table show, all networks at all image sizes delivered very good classification performance over at least 91%. However, Efficient Net B1 delivered a slightly better classification performance, while Serra's Next 50 delivered a slightly worse classification performance. The reported results in this table show five-fold cross-validation performance based on network fusion with different input image sizes and fusion of all architectures. As it is clear from the last row of the table, the final fusion scheme delivered the best classification performance. We compare or propose classification strategy with a number of machine learning based and deep learning based approaches as can be seen in this table. As can be seen from the last row of the table, our proposed method outperforms other approaches by a large margin. 
We also applied our proposed classification approach on the ICPR 2020 Pollen Grain Classification Challenge test set and achieved an accuracy and a weighted F1 score of over 96%, which was very competitive to the top performer of the challenge. By this slide, I would like to finish my presentation. If you have any comments or questions regarding this work, please do not hesitate to contact me or visit my poster at the poster session. Thank you very much for your time and attention.